All right, guys. It is a lovely evening here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this lovely but still a little bit chilly night. I think we have made it to Wednesday, May 25th or 2022, somewhere around there. So, uh, now today's chronicle of the collapse, I, you know, good Lord, guys, just throwing a dart at the mainstream media, but now three of you have sent me versions of this story saying that I need to cover this here on Collapse Chronicles. So I guess now that I'm rereading it, uh, we're going to, I don't know, color a little bit out of the lines. Do we have any lines here at Collapse Chronicles or not? Anyway, we're going to go over to China for this pretty weird story, and I guess... I don't know. I kind of look at this story as maybe a snapshot of what the rest of the planet will quickly become. Uh, so there's a little bit of a corona panic angle in here about those uh, draconian, that's the word they love to use, draconian lockdowns over there in Shanghai and I guess now Beijing and uh so there's no way of avoiding it. So if you don't want to hear about the corona panic, just go over there and listen to the monkey pox instead of the corona panic. And if you don't want to listen to the monkey pox, maybe you can listen to the bird flu. If you don't want to listen to the bird flu, I think you can probably find some stuff on the mainstream media about tick-borne diseases. But anyway, uh, you can pick your pandemic and ways to die, but uh, this one, this is uh, Insider's version of this, this quote going around Chinese social media. Well, it's been uh, completely silenced. The quote, we are the last generation. All right. <clears throat> we are looking at the last generation in China and probably on the rest of the planet. Uh, more and more young people just admitting they're the last generation. Yes. Okay, so what is this last generation nonsense in China all about? All right. <clears throat> Shanghai resident Dylan Wang. How many people in China have the last name Wang? Is that like Smith or Jones here? Anyway, Shanghai resident Dylan Wang has spent a good part of the last two months casually contemplating what his life and death would mean. Wang is single and childless, and his only living relative is his father, who lives in Wuhu, a city approximately 300 miles away, locked down in his studio apartment since April 1st, the IT professional said that if he were to die of starvation or suicide, it would take weeks for his friends and neighbors to realize that he had passed. Mm -hmm. While Wang continues to work from home and clock in the necessary hours, he told Insider that he finds little to live for and nothing to look forward to other than eating a decent meal and getting a good night's sleep. And that is, uh, I just had a hot dog for my dinner and uh, I am really looking forward to a good night's sleep. Yes, I know how Mr. Wang feels. Yes. Anyway, beyond that, he says that during the lockdown, he found he started profoundly identifying with the idea of being a member 
of China's last generation, a now censored hashtag that trended on Chinese social media over the last week. It would be real nice if they told how old this dude was. Uh, I can't believe they haven't told us how old this guy is. Anyway, so what is this last generation? The term stemmed from a viral video that has since been scrubbed, I bet it has, from Weibo, the country's Twitter-like platform. In the video, several officers clad in protective gear are seen threatening residents in Shanghai, declaring that if they refuse to abide by the city's corona panic quarantine guidelines, some, quote, three generations of their family would be negatively impacted. In response to the warning, a man replies curtly, sorry, we are the last generation, thanks. And you can watch this. They have the link on YouTube to this viral video, which of course you can't see in China anymore, but it's in Chinese. So you kind of have to trust uh, this whole thing. And, and, and who knows, this could be completely fake news. I don't think it is, but anyway, there's probably some people, maybe people living in this house who would tell me this is fake news. I'm sure Caitlin Johnstone would call this totally fake news, China bashing. But it all makes perfect sense to me, and I think this will continue to go to, on to other countries, maybe as monkey pox uh, takes over. Okay. Wang said that he admired the man in the video, commenting that, quote, the man was speaking for all of the youths when he called his own generation the last. Quote, there are many things that make me think my generation is likely to be China's last or its last good one. Wang said, referencing the hashtag, none of my friends want to have children. All right. And I, for one, do not want to bring a new life into a world like this and for them to grow up to be lonely, aimless, and another useless statistic in our country's birth rate. There you go. All right, and now uh, if you've been going to talk about lying flat also, um, the hashtag we are the last generation has, according to the China Digital Times, been linked to a brewing undercurrent of anger that is bubbling and reaching a boiling point amid prolonged and draconian corona panic lockdown measures. Screenshots of now deleted posts seen by the China Digital Times showed a woman with the words, quote, we are the last generation scrawled across the back of her t-shirt while other posts appeared to reference imperial rule in China and the country's plummeting birth rate. Three cheers for China's plummeting birth rate. You know, it's hilarious, you know, when China ditches the, the one-child policy, became the two-child policy, and now it's the three-child policy, and nobody wants to, well, uh, there's still a, plenty of people having kids in China, but more and more people uh, just opting out of the, of the having kids. I don't, I don't know where the hell you're supposed to find time to have kids in China. Anyway, let's talk about lying flat. I remember this term showing up a while back. 
the new rallying call of China's last generation might also have its roots in the phenomenon of lying flat, a mass movement that referenced the rebellion of disenchanted Chinese youth against the hyper-competitive lifestyle. I've been lying flat since uh, 2008 is when uh, I decided to lie flat. I wish to hell I was lying flat in my tiny house right now. I gotta get through this rant because I've been working harder since I started lying flat than I ever did when I was making six figures as a damn real estate agent and house flipper. Lying flat. Good God, I wish. Anyway, lying flat. The rebellion of disenchanted Chinese youth against the hyper-competitive lifestyle. Many young adults chose to, quote, lie flat rather than engage in China's 996 hustle culture where people work 12 hours a day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. I know exactly I uh, here in the last 10 days what it means to work 12 hours a day, six days a week. Good God, I've been here. Have I only been here? I've been here 11 days, and I would say I pretty much work 12 hours a day for 11 days straight, wishing to hell I was lying flat. Anyway, back to China. At press time, insiders search of the term <clears throat> on Weibo. I don't know if they if they're referring to lying flat at this point or last generation. At press time, insert insider search on the of the term on Weibo or Weibo yielded a clean slate, indicating that the platform had quickly censored last generation posts, individual posts not linked to the now censored hashtag, however, remain online. Some of the posts appeared to criticize the government's prolonged lockdown in Shanghai. Meanwhile, other users used the hashtag as a platform to make posts lashing out at the pressures they face as Chinese youth to get married, have kids, and carry on the family line. This is uh, one post on Weibo. Quote, people wonder why this idea... Now, I'm okay, I'm, I'm, I'm already confused here. They just said they searched Weibo and could not find any reference to last generation post. Oh, okay. If that uh, okay, associated with the hashtag since I don't I'm not clear what a hashtag is. So I guess if you didn't use the hashtag, you can uh, still sneak them through. So this is one that was up a couple of days ago. Quote People wonder why this idea of the last generation is something that people our age strongly respond to. Again, it would be really nice if they were talking about the age group here. I'm assuming they're talking about 20-somethings, maybe early 30-somethings. It never says in the article what age group they're talking about. All right. Where I'm concerned, I admire that man's courage in voicing what we all feel. We face pressure to give birth. Women are continually harangued and abused. Even men, even men don't want children. All right, good for the Chinese men. Even the men don't want children. Using the hashtag 
to comment on the country's birth rate, some posters even went so far as to compare having a child to, quote, giving birth to a hostage. <laughs> there you go. That's exactly what you're doing. Anyone uh, breeding at this point is giving birth to a hostage. Okay, here is another uh, post, which I guess has been pulled down. Quote, our country's history is built on blood. Well, that could be pretty much any country's uh, history, but China certainly is no different than anybody else. Uh, our country, like every other country on the planet's history, is built on blood. We give birth to children only to fight wars, work, and suffer. There is no future and no past worth looking back on. Yes, other posts referenced how it was not the fault of China's young people that they might be their family's last generation. Some posts even used the hashtag to allow the Dink Revolution, a reference to the idea of some Chinese couples who choose to stick to a lifestyle of double income, no kids. There you go. This is... The, these are all of these. Uh, I guess what they're doing is looking at the screenshots from these now ripped down uh, social media posts. Quote, the fact that we are likely to be our family's last generation is not something that any of us really wanted. Property is unaffordable and home loans would take several decades just to pay back. I actually remember reading that the, the uh, term on home loans in some places in China is 400 years, that the loans are amortized out over 400 years. <laughs> there you go. So, so I guess home loans would take several centuries just to pay back. The cost of living is high and rent is a problem too. Let's not even talk about sending kids to expensive private schools. And what's more, the government does not take any of this seriously. Yes, I bet it does, and I imagine how much the Chinese government is worried about uh, this, which probably my guess is kind of like with that birth strike movement over there in Europe a few years ago. This is a, you understand guys that, well I'm assuming here that this is a tiny, tiny fraction of minority. Uh, I, I don't believe for one minute that this is some, uh, you know, big movement. Uh, although, who knows? According to the mainstream media, you know, it sounds like this is like everybody under 30 in the country of China. I wish... <clears throat> okay. Insider spoke to Zi Donghua, a restaurant industry executive who said that the concept of a last generation had been brewing online for months, but that no one had articulated it in such succinct terms until the viral video. Quote, We think it, but we don't say it. What's the point of saying it when nothing changes? For most people my age, and again, it would be real nice if they had said what her age was, for most people my age, the idea of speaking out feels like banging one's head against a stone wall.
but it does not mean we are not angry. Yes. Similar to the resentment expressed by that woman, comments on Weibo viewed by Insider linked to the now censored last generation hashtag appeared, you know, before they were ripped down to reference a deep dissatisfaction with life and the status quo in China. <coughs> Quote, quoting one of the, the posts, <coughs> We see everything clearly, but we have no power to change anything. I am resigned. <coughs> Another post read, Quote, our hopes have been crushed, and there is more desire for death than for life itself. Yes, one user based in Shanghai, where people endured a weeks-long lockdown to comply with China's zero corona panic strategy. Don't you love the word strategy? That bungling attempt wrote, quote, It is understandable that with life comes suffering, but now, apart from suffering, we have a stranglehold around our throats dictating how we live our lives. This is unbearable. And to close out, penning a short poem, Another user said they were, quote, tired of the future and themselves. The adventures are done. The aspirations are gone. The songs are finished. For this last generation, nothing remains. There you go. Uh, and next to that story we have Planned Parenthood seeking donations with their new slogan, Our Bodies, Our Futures, Our Abortions. It's all on the line. And there you go. Our Futures, Our Abortions. Ah! Donate now. So, I won't get into the right wing conspiratards talking about how the, you know, these Chinese, uh, uh, what is, are Chinese abortion clinics selling dead babies to plant? No, Planned Parenthood is selling dead babies to China, I guess, is the. Uh, is that conspiracy theory. So, I highly suggest you sell a dead baby to China while you still can. Oh, Lord. The last generation. At some point, there will be a last generation. And uh, for the... Uh, Human extinction, what are we, four years away from human extinction? I guess we're all the last generation. Because according to some people, probably listening to this, believing this shit for one minute, we're all going to be the last generation in four years. All right. So get out there and enjoy it while you still can. Now, I'm going to finish this margarita, and I'm going to go lie flat in my tiny house. While I still can. Are you ready to go lie flat in the tiny house, little dog? Bye, guys. Ugh. Oh, man. Yes, yes. We're going to go lie flat.